We're back from the channel, guys. Welcome back. It was on all four wheels since the last video. Archie played our tires. Two fifty-five forty seventeen. Thing looks crazy. I phrased the rear up. A car will not move. <laughs> it's definitely on the uh, fender. So, before you go on to this video, go ahead and comment, share, subscribe. You know the whole vibe. Um, a lot to go into. A lot to do today. A lot to do today. But most and foremost, <clears throat> sorry if I'm like looking, talking kind of weird. I, I bit my tongue yesterday. Um, happy New Year to everybody. And guess what? There is the motor. Don't mind the you know setup, making things work over here. But yes, my motor is complete. For all you new viewers, I bought this car back in March of last year, 2022. Um, car sat for, for a year or so, um, which is good and bad. <laughs> but anyways, bought the car. Two months later, the head lifted. Uh, the old setup was um, a 2 0 Busher motor, JE piston, standard size, 85 millimeter. Um, it had GSC stock valves, exhaust and intake. What's that thing have? H11 head studs, I believe, for the brand. Um, pretty much it. So now the new refined motor, um, this is now board, um, board 20 over, has uh, wide scope pistons. 85.5 millimeters, 10.1 compression. We have brand new GSC valves, intake and exhaust. I've been three, so we just got all new ones. Um, the cams in this motor are the GSC SP billets. We have, um, let's do this thing. On the timing components, new, new oil components. As far as oil pump, timing chain, oh, not time, timing chain, timing belt, timing um, tensioner, um we have new aem cam gears in here too new aem cam gears and then i got my uh, turbo back from precision that got a full rebuild a new um oil housing bearing and here is right here this is my turbo is back all cleaned up with the new ceramic silver finish on the exhaust side so turbo's gonna be looking, we'll kick in like brand new again. The motor is beefier than it was before. Bigger pistons, um, block board over and all that. And the motor is degreed. So luckily guys, I got, I got lucky man, I got lucky. Could have been a lot worse guys. Um, but my motor is done, it's done. Now I gotta just get my tools and my frame together today. Get this thing bolted up. What a journey for the new year. Motor is done. All right, right now I'm gonna um, clean out the engine bay and wash it out before I end up putting this motor back in today. Whenever we get a chance to do that. Um, not too much to do really, but just uh, clean out the engine bay, wash it out, um, take the radiator back out, take the intercooler back out. So I'll throw you guys on time lapse and get to work. All right, that's a lot better, a lot better. Now, next agenda is to get the transmission out here. Um, I got the flywheel on, hand tight, with the plate behind it. Um, 
this is yeah two person job so my friend arrives we'll get this thing bolted down locked down have uh, some red loctite torque the spec trans go on and let's put the motor in so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one good morning good morning guys welcome back to the video Today's the adventure we're going to baker book garage my guys over there getting my injectors cleaned out and flowed I got a surprise to show y'all in a few seconds. Get this car uncovered. But hope y'all are doing well. Going to the new year. Get this thing uncovered and show y'all the surprise. I'm really excited. You see the, see the peak in there? You see, the, you see the peak in there? Oh man. So today's agenda get my set, get the, get the injectors uh, cleaned and flowed. We're gonna um, get the car put back together or some. I did a, a lot off camera, so sorry I didn't get to you know get the process going on video. But listen, man, I got a busy work schedule. I'm trying to get things done as fast as I can, you know. But show you guys progress. Yes, the hood is still unlatched, but. Boom! My new nigga. heart <laughs> is in. That's great, man. I'm really happy. Be happier when it's running, but making right now really, really good progress. So today I gotta take off the injector, get those cleaned out. We're gonna um, take off, take off the ball cover because we're gonna make sure there's no um, hitting sand from the blasting of the product coating behind the baffle area. So we're gonna drill out those um, rivets, we tap it with screws and lock tight it. You know, just to be safe. Can't afford no uh not not jokes, you know. But yeah guys, coming along fantastic. Fantastic. Just how I imagine it would be. Other than that, let's get this uh manifold or this uh fuel rail off. Alright, get these allens off. But um, like I said, man, I'm glad you're back behind the camera. It's been a minute. Got a busy ass work schedule. So I get home. I'm I'm I grab my focus on getting the car somewhat together while I can. So I get I get home late, bro. So my time is like my free time is like on my days off. But whatever. I got a job, right? Can't complain too much. Oh, there's a spacer. Okay. Didn't know that. Might need that actually. Alright, put that right there. That don't come off of it. Cool. Oh, ferro's off. That's pretty easy. And then pop out my 2150s. Use carefully. All right. All right. FIC injectors, twenty one fifties. Definitely get definitely uh, dunked up in there. I see. All right. Get these things in my pocket. Now let's head over to Baker Boat Garage right about now. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, Bob Man. Bob Man. Bob Man. Hey. <laughs> hey, right quick. Hey, look. Insider, bro. Had to do it one time. <laughs> we had to do it one time for the people. Let they clean up. We good. Pass the test. You pass the test? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bad, baby, pass. Be good. Clean them, clean hey, Bob Man, pass hey, test. Bob Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got the injectors all good to go. Have a head home, 
and get this Evo put back together. See y'all there. Cleaned. Thanks to Brandon for that again. Thank you, Brody. All right. These things go on pretty easy too. Last one. Grab my spacer. These are good and tight. All right, be good. All right, that's back together. Now, see how these are all clean and spaced out? Show you a little, a little magic trick. Watch this, and boom, looking all whole again almost. Looking all whole again. Um, like I said, my friend gets off work today. We're gonna take out the baffles, get that squared away, make sure there's no sand trap that we can't see. It's cleaned out, but the reinsurance, you know. Um, other than that, put the but the mount has to come back off. Put this pulley on, the crank, pulley. Um, just put the belt on. That's really much it for that. Take the harness off the zip ties, plug it back up. But um. Before the car is ready for the first startup, I gotta get my fuel pumps. That'll be in this week. I have a primary 450 and secondary, it's gonna be a uh, 525 fuel pump. So we have all the new fueling. Jack's gonna be good to go. So everything is tightened down. So hopefully there's no leaks, but as part of you know, a build, we're gonna have leaks here and there on the first initial startup and cycling. So, but car looks great, man. I'm, Sitting here and you're looking at it like wow, like I really did it. We're not there yet, but seeing the progress where it's come to where it is today is nice, man. Worked hard, you know. I worked hard to get to where I am, and nice seeing everything come together. Oh, what? Got some wheels movement. Got the axles in. Coil bolt it back down. Everything's tight. Yes, sir. Looks good. Got the oil cooler on, bolted up too. Got the pulley, crank pulley on, tensioner on. Um, only from having right now this fucking bolt, in my language, <laughs> bolt right here for the pulley I can't get to. So 
Do that other day. I'm burnt out. I'm hungry. I gotta go eat. Got this hoe. He routed around. This was underneath, but now it's at its you know right position. Injectors are on. I'm gonna put the harness back on when I get the valve cover back on from uh, my friend Tommy's house. The valve cover did have uh, sand in the baffle, so luckily we caught it in time. They were good. So that was a good, good close call to catch that one. Crash can cleaned up. Yeah, man. Almost in its final form. Get the hose for this. Get that belt on. Fuel pump hopefully be in next week. And uh, whoop you come by, give me the you know the fire up map. So we're almost there, man. We are almost there. Ah oh, man. Crazy crazy. Sorry I didn't film much doing work to the car. I'm gonna kind of get it done, you know, and it's kind of difficult filming. Stop what you're doing. Turn the camera off, all that jazz. I'm trying to get work done, bro. But as you can see, it's coming along. So <laughs> sorry about that, but making good progress. Good progress. Coming to there. Oh, matter of fact, trans fluid is in. Matter of fact, you guys were wondering, I am running MT90 red line synthetic oil for the uh, transmission fluid. That's in there. Only left to do is my um, TK fluid. That's easy. But I'm in it there, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Stay safe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.